Hello. Um, I was excited to listen to The Rite of Spring this week because it's one of my favorite pieces to kind of delve into and explore. Um, I haven't watched, or I hadn't watched the um, scene from Fantasia in a while, so it was fun to kind of go back as a teacher this time and listen to it and watch it again. Um, one thing I run into with my students when we listen to, like, classical music um, is they get bored really easily, so it's nice when there is that visual element. Um, so I think they'd probably enjoy watching that scene, um, and I think it would help them understand the music a little bit better. I uh, really liked um, the scene with all the lava. I thought um, it kind of depicted like the urgency of the music. Um, and then uh, as like right before the rock fall with all the lava into the water, I thought it was cool because the, um, the musical ideas are kind of cascading and overlapping and tumbling and it shows that um, as there's the rock fall. I thought that was a really cool visual. Um, and also when the dinosaurs are walking, I thought, um, kind of like the heaviness of their step is kind of heard in that music, like it's kind of heavy, everything has weight to it. Um, I thought the Harvard lecture was interesting. I think it's always cool to kind of, um, you know, either listen to people or learn from people who know way more about something than you do. Um, and so I thought it was really interesting the way he broke down that piece, and even just the numbers, he had like the nine, six, three, four, five, three groupings of notes. I thought that was cool to think of it that way because I hadn't really thought of it like that rhythm in terms of just numbers like that. Um, and then I thought um, when he talked about um, like the context of ballet at the time and um, how he, um, Naginsky sought to kind of do the opposite of everything that um, people would expect from ballet, um, which, you know, like I knew obviously it wasn't standard ballet, but to, um, you know, seek to do like literally the opposite of every single thing that is seen in ballet is really interesting, like with their legs turning in instead of out and arms down instead of up. I thought that was cool. Um, in the movie, I thought it was really interesting to see the drama of uh, both the relationship and of kind of initially when he's playing the piano, I thought um, they did a good job kind of depicting the drama of the music and seeing it, you know, him performing at a piano was cool to watch. Um, and then hearing from Stravinsky himself, I think it's important to kind of remember that he was kind of taking a risk by, um, you know, doing something so forward thinking and, um, different than what had been done, the drama of that opening night, um, and people kind of verbally, um, you know, like rebelling and speaking out against his work. I think it's always interesting to get his perspective on all of that, so.